I hope that these people don't be coming with a whole list of extra stuff to get done to my car that I didn't come prepared to get done. welcome back to my channel so today I just got finished fixing a Jimmy Dean's biscuits and sausage gravy bowl I don't know why but I have had a taste for these you know type of bowls lately and you know growing up in the south you would think that I would have eaten these mm. and I never really ate them I never ate them when I was a kid, I was, was like, oh, they look like slop. So I never ate them. But I think it was last year, we went to Virginia Beach. In the hotel that we were in, they were serving that. And I got it. And I ate it. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so good. So before we went grocery shopping, I um, had put on my grocery list to get ingredients to, like, make it at home. But once we got to the grocery store, I saw that Jimmy Bean already had these breakfast bowls. So I got me a few. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be eating this morning for breakfast. And then I was going to fix some coffee. But I have decided to try to drink some water. I need to drink more water. So I just put some ice water in here. My little 22 ounce water bottle. And I'm going to try to drink, if not all, most of it. Cause I have not been drinking as much water as I should and I need to make sure that I'm drinking water especially because I got a tattoo yesterday so I need to stay hydrated and have lots of fluids but yeah my tattoo is feeling fine right now it's just now starting to like itch and um it's weeping so you know the clear fluid is coming out or whatever and I'm like, ooh, looking at it. <laughs> and the, t the tattoo artist, he told me to keep this bandage on my arm to keep the tattoo wrapped for three to five days. And I'm looking like, because, you know, it, it's been a minute. It's been a few years since the last time I got a tattoo, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to air it out. And he said three to five days. He said that more than one time, so it ain't like... He just accidentally said it like now nah, he doubled down on it maybe it's because of the area that i got it in and because it's in red ink maybe that's why he said three to five days but i don't know i can't see myself keeping this wrapped up for three to five days because i feel like it needs air like anytime you have like a wound like that your wound has to heal you know and air is one of the ways that it's able to heal. Like you have to get to it, you have to wash it, and you have to like pat it dry and let it air out. And I already had a bad experience a couple of years ago when I had been severely burned on my leg. I have got, got burned and then I kept getting it rebandaged instead of letting it air out. And then my burn ended up getting infected because my wound wasn't um my wound wasn't ble uh, my wound wasn't breathing and that was not pretty at all so I don't want to go through anything like that again and every time I look online I'm looking at different sites and however they tell you to take care of your tattoo they say to let it air out and then but they also say that your tattoo artist is the expert on how to take care of your tattoo so whatever they say follow their instructions i don't know y'all i'm conflicted but we'll see what i end up doing i'm about to eat some lunch right now i made me a little salad with lettuce bacon bits some cheese and garlic croutons <laughs> my husband up here slapping me with this straw but anyway and oh, I got this Mountain Dew Energy. It's the Baja Blast, y'all. I don't think I showed y'all that when we went grocery shopping. But yeah, we found some Baja Blast Mountain Dew Energy drinks. And they was on sale at Giant. So yeah, I'm going to drink that with that. Because I'm tired, y'all. I need some energy. I'm running a little 
late right now, but um, I'm taking y'all with me to go get some work done on my car. Hopefully it don't take long because my husband's getting work done, done on his car, so I'm not doing a drop off. I'm gonna have to actually sit and stay at the uh, dealership. But yeah, his car should be ready sometime later this afternoon. I hope that these people don't be coming with a whole list of extra stuff to get done to my car that I didn't come prepared to get done. In the top. So behind the vanity wall, we have mirrors, and I'm thinking it'd be really cool to do some sort of wood treatment. It'll not only make this weird architectural alcove, and then over here we can do our range, okay. and then we can have our countertops going this way. So that was easy peas and lemon squeezy. I was only at the um, at the car place for like an hour, and they um, got my car situated or whatever. And they were really nice, very courteous, and it was complimentary because I'm a part of. I don't know, I got some type of program to where I can come get my oil changes for free and stuff like that. And they actually, when they came back with the diagnostic for my car, they didn't come with no extra stuff just to get um, new air filters, some stuff like that. So, yeah, I am a happy customer. We heading to go pick up the little man right now from daycare. Hopefully he had a good day. We got a couple pictures from his daycare today and we saw that he was working on his tracing and he even did a little art activity where he was um, using some little stamps to make a bonfire with, um, what is it called? Construction paper or whatever, glue and that and stuff like that. So hopefully he had a great day today. Reunited with my little boy. <laughs> yeah, when he uh, got in the car, he said he was hungry. Hello, camera. <laughs> when he got in the car, he said he was hungry, and he asked me for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and um, grapes. So that's what I made him. That's why his face looked like that, because he just got finished eating a whole PB&J and some grapes. And after he finished, I was up uh, in the kitchen getting some stuff together or whatever he came carrying his plate his empty plate after he ate his food it said another pb and j y'all say hi to my baby now <laughs> anyway he came carrying the empty plate told us another pb and j and grapes i said all this school work got you hungry don't you so i gave him some cookies and um, raisins but yeah and then daddy i sent him a text message earlier because i had pulled out some chicken wings to thaw i told him to put the chicken wings in the uh, refrigerator and pull out chicken breasts instead and put it in the bowl of water so it could thaw but he misread my text message yeah, so. just, i've been mistake prone for like the last three weeks four weeks the last month but yeah, he put the chicken wings in the water and then pull out chicken breasts. So. Don't ask me to do nothing for like the next two weeks I until won't. it gets don't, passed. Don't worry, I won't. And I was hesitant about asking you to do that. But I said, oh, this is very clear in the text message. But anyway, so I just put the um, chicken wings in the refrigerator and I pulled out the um, chicken breasts and I put it in the water to try to throw out. Thinking it should take about 30 minutes. They've been in there about 15 minutes. So I think in another 15, hopefully that should be thawed out. If not, I guess I'll have to use the microwave. But yeah, I wanted to try to cook some chicken fajitas tonight. Hello, camera. <laughs> Look at you, you're not camera shy anymore. You like the camera? Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's great. But yeah, so um, I want to do chicken fajitas today so i'm going to go ahead and cut up the veggies and stuff while i'm waiting on my chicken breast to thaw and i need to look up a recipe for chicken fajitas because i don't have like the seasoning packs so i gotta figure out what kind of seasoning to put together in order to you know make it I know I'm gonna need cumin, which I already have. I, I pulled that out, so I gotta look and see what else I may need. These are the seasonings that I mixed together to get my fajita seasoning. Only thing I was missing was chili powder, so I just like put this stuff together. And more or less, I didn't use no uh, measurements. I just 
mix stuff together and then taste the seasoning that I concocted till it got, you know, added spices and stuff till it got to the type of flavor that I wanted. So pretty happy with the combination that I got here with these spices. And now I'm thinking I'm gonna cook some cheesy Mexican rice tonight to go with our chicken quesadillas. So this is the end resort. I made my son a cheese quesadilla and some oranges. And then here's the chicken quesadilla and cheesy rice. This is my plate. My husband's plate is over on the table. I was a little upset because when I was um, chopping up my vegetables, every time it seemed like I was chopping up a vegetable, something was rotten. Like my green peppers ended up being rotten. My red pepper was rotten, so I had to throw them out. But I think everything should still taste pretty good. And I also got some sour cream on the table and some taco sauce just in case anybody wants to add that to their plate. But yeah, I'm going to sit down and eat dinner with my family. What's going on with my hair? <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so it should be notified every time I make an upload and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.